you all welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new if you are new hello and welcome my name is Nikki and I'm so glad to have you here today I have for you all another what's for dinner and it has been forever since I've done one of these so I'm so excited to be doing this for you all and of course I have some easy quick meals that's what I always have over here on this channel so if you like that make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my quick and easy dinner ideas let's go ahead and hop right on in I had this Italian sausage that needed to be used, so I decided to make spaghetti. I did cut the sausages in half and just remove the skin. Cutting them in half made it really easy to remove that skin. The onion and bell pepper that I am using is frozen. If you have any bell peppers or onions that need to be used and you're not going to be using them, you can just cut them up and then put them in a freezer bag and freeze them. And then whenever you need them, you just dump out however many you need and it's that easy. I don't have any store-bought spaghetti sauce, so I'm just going to use some tomato sauce. There was a piece of paper from the can, that's what I pulled out. Now I'm going to cook my noodles and I added in, meant to add in one tablespoon of oil but it ended up being way more than that but that's okay. Then at this time I realized I didn't have any spaghetti noodles so I just went ahead and used these ziti noodles. Once your noodles are done, you're going to drain the water off of them and then just mix your meat mixture with your noodles and that is it, that's all done and I forgot to record that, I'm so sorry. Here it is once it is done. I just added some Parmesan cheese and ranch dressing. Tuesday night I'm doing a cheesy chicken rice casserole. You will need two chicken breasts and you're just going to cook them until they are done all the way. I'm going to make the rice. I've just brought some water to a bowl, two cups of water, and then I'm adding in two cups of rice. And this is minute rice, and I couldn't remember how to cook it, so I was just winging this whole part right here. But what you do is bring your water to a bowl and then add in your rice and let it boil for five minutes, and then that's it, it's done. I'm just going to use two forks to shred the chicken. You could use your mixer if you wanted to.
it's time to start putting it together and I'm just going to layer it with this chicken rice mixture I've mixed up and then shredded cheese. Once you get it all put together, you're going to put it in an oven that is preheated to 350 degrees and you will bake it for 20 to 25 minutes. On Thursday night, I have made a roast and potatoes. This is a deer roast, so what I'm doing right now is draining off the water. The night before, I put it in salt water and let it soak. And I did, I just filled that bowl up full of water and then I added in one cup of salt and let it soak overnight. And then drained that off and now I'm going to start cooking it. I'm going to add in my seasonings and I'm not measuring this right here so I'm not going to give you any measurements but I am going to do it really heavy because I'm going to dump this water off and start with some fresh water so the first time that I boil this water I start with heavy seasonings I'm using celery salt onion powder and garlic salt the reason why I do it heavy is just to make sure that there's no wild taste to it and the way that I do this with the soaking it in salt water and salting it or seasoning it heavy like this, you cannot tell that this is deer meat. It tastes just as good as beef. It is 10 o'clock when I'm starting this and I will see you all shortly when I come back to check it. All right, it's been an hour and a half and I'm just going to add some more water to it because as you can tell, it's cooked down some. And at all times, you want to try to keep the roast covered with water. And this is something that you have to keep an eye on all day when you're cooking unless you put it in the crock pot. I've never done it in the crock pot. I've always done it this way. It has been cooking for about three hours now and I'm just going to go ahead and drain off that water and start with some fresh water. About two hours before you're ready to serve it, you want to add in your carrots. You have to add the carrots in so early because they take longer to cook. Now I have cut and peeled my potatoes, or peeled and cut I guess I should say, but I'm just going to add them about 30 minutes before time to serve it. You don't want to add them too early because they will just cook away. 
is once it is done, you could add a pack of beef stew if you wanted to, but we just eat it this way with some A1 sauce. Next night, I'm making meatball subs, and I'm just using half a bag of these meatballs and some of this sauce. You could use your favorite sauce, whatever it is. And I'm going to dump it in the crock pot, and that is it, and that's it for this week's What's for Dinner, and I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye, guys!